Hello, welcome to this video for the Audi A3. It's the 1.2 uh, TSI petrol. So it's the uh, it's the uh, six-speed manual. This one, so six gears, as you can see, in very tidy condition. It's only covered sixty thousand. Sorry, sixty-one. It's just turned sixty-one thousand. Sixty-one thousand miles. It has the full documented service history. Let's start off on the bodywork. Let's start off on the edge of this wing mirror. It's very clean, as you can see. The windscreen, very clean as well. No chips, and it looks to be the original one. He's even got the Audi logo there, and it's got the fitted uh, radio aerial. Radio aerial is in there. As you can see, little gold pinstripe. It goes all the way around. That's the aerial. Obviously, there's no aerial on the roof because it's convertible. <coughs> It's an S-Line model, so there's no rust on the uh, wheel arch at all, which is very good. The alloy wheels are getting refurbished uh, in a few days' time. As you can see, the edges uh, have got a few scuffs on, which require obviously doing. So that's going to be done in the silver colour again. All the tyres are really good, as you've seen in the photos. <coughs> so it's got the uh, lower, <coughs> excuse me, the lower fog lights. As you can see, the headlight lenses are very clean. Just a bit, few drops of water there, just wipe those off. A few drops of water. As you can see, the headlight lenses are very clean. There's no yellowing or mist misting or cloudiness. Um, the front grille is very good condition. There's no cracks in the chrome. Because sometimes when careless people park their vehicles, they crack them and there's usually a crack on them nine times out of ten. As you can see, it is a local car to us, so it's from Derby. Uh, so the last people that sold this vehicle was Pentagon, which are a Vauxhall dealer. I'm sure they are. So, <clears throat> as you can see, very good condition, even down to that lip there. So no one's been <coughs> bashing into the kerbs. And the paint, well, it's got a shine to it as well on the bumper. It's a really glossy, nice shine as well. Uh, all the grills are there, nothing's cracked, everything's secure. And there's no stone chipping. So very good condition. No chips or cracks on there. That uh, wing mirror cover, very good condition. No rust on the arches on that one. The door is immaculate as well. And the roof is very clean. There are a few, uh, that's a petal that one. It's a petal that's just fell off the tree. As you can see, that door, no damage, etc. That wheel arch, no rust on there. And there's no, uh, there's no scuffs, etc., on the bumper. And the lights are very good condition. There's no cracks, there's no condensation, uh, no water, no goldfish swimming around. So it's got the rear parking sensors, as you can see. There is the tiniest and very, very tiniest of little nicks there. I don't know if you can see that. Just there, the tiniest one you can see. Looking here, that's all nice and clean. So it's unleaded fuel on the hood there. Let me get rid of these petals. A petal there, a petal there. As you can see, very clean the hood. It's got the heated rear glass as well. The wheel arch is very clean. There's no, there's no dents or little bits of rust anywhere at all. Even down the bottom there, it's nice and clean. Okay, so we've gone round the outside of the vehicle. Let's start in the boot. Let's open the boot for you. As you can see, it's uh, it's accommodating. It's not the biggest, but it's accommodating. As you can see, it's very good condition. The plastics are in good condition. A little ladybird there. I get a free lady. In fact, let me just flick that out. Flick that out. Oh, it's gone down there. Okay, so you've got a uh, oil holder there. You've got it. They are split fold rear seats, so you can pull that lever there, and the seats will go down. As you can see, it's a 50-50 split. The carpet's all nice and clean. Uh, under there, we've got a tool kit and the slimline spare wheel, or a space saver. We've also got the locking wheel up there. So it is there. So if you do end up buying this vehicle and you ask me where's the locking wheel not, it's there. Video evidence is there. Okay, so that's the jack, that's the brace. Uh, there's a little plastic cover there. 
that's like an apron that's the tire changing apron so you can wear that to save you from getting dirty uh and that is about it in here uh it's all carpeted up here as well you've got these little pockets there which you can actually open and they get to the light bulbs behind there as well so there's a light cluster there as you can see so that's how you get to those light bulbs through this little panel here all this is nice and clean up here there's no evidence of any rust at all and all clean up here as well right okay so let's uh, get in the car let's open the car so you've got this um this is what you call a ultrasonic motion sensor switch so as you can see if you require to put your alarm on and you've got the roof down or you've got a dog in the car or kids in the car and you go to the petrol station and you think you know what i want to lock the car if you first press this button that turns the ultrasonic interior detection off and you can press that and then with the people that move in the car or the dog that moves in the car it won't set off the alarm uh, also if you are a I can say a bit of a show off and you're parked outside a restaurant or a bar and you've got the roof down you can press that and you put the alarm on and obviously the wind will not set off the motion sensors inside the car uh, that other one there is for when the vehicle is being towed so it's the same method that one so if or on a wagon so if that's on a recovery wagon and you want to lock the vehicle while it's on the recovery wagon you press that then alarm the alarm and then the motion sensors on the vehicle will not trigger at all. Obviously, when it's on the back of a wagon, uh, you'll get vibrations and movement. It'll set the alarm off. And that's why you see these um, car alarms going off on these big wagons on the motorway all the time. Because they've not done that. Okay, so four electric windows, as you can see. And there's one button there which triggers all four windows. So if you press that down, all four go down. Rather than trying to press all four at the same time. Uh, heated electric mirrors central locking button you've got this lovely brushed aluminium effect garnish there as well uh all the uh, driver's doors very clean as you can see uh including the speaker grill the speaker grill there is in perfect condition so usually on these at this kind of age people kick them and break them so not in this case it's in very good condition as you can see all the uh foot pedals are nice and clean it's got the uh, carpet there as well, and it's, it's very, very good condition. Uh, and they've got this uh, S-Line um, brushed aluminium effect uh, kick plate as well, as you can see. Very good condition. It's also got the black down here as well to protect that sill. Uh, the rubber is in very good condition, as you can see. It's not broken or anything like that or worn through. Um, Neither is it on there, so that's all clean. The door shuts are clean. There's no trap seat belt marks at all. It, the driver's seat is half leather and cloth. It's got the height adjustment lever, which just pushes down when you're sat on it. Push down for down, and then pump up for up. So you just pump up and then press down, and that's it. So it's got the side airbags as well. This version. So on this year, you've got the side airbags on both sides. So the embossed S-Line logo and the lever, and you can see the lever is in remarkable condition. As you can see, there's no wear or tear or anything going saggy. There's no cigarette burns in the seats. Uh, very good condition. Um, this has got the uh, DRL. So DRL means daytime running lights. So when you put the ignition on, you will get the little side lights will always stay on. If you choose that option, of course, you can obviously switch it off by doing that. But if you leave it on that, that's automatically the daytime running lights. It's got two keys there, two remote central locking alarm keys, which is a good good sign. Uh, your little air vents there. You've got this lovely S-line steering wheel, which is the uh, lever and perforated lever. As you can see, the perforated lever on there. It's also got the voice command switch, volume switch. Uh, you track up and down. S-line badge there, the airbag and it's in remarkable condition again so there's nothing out of the ordinary there's no uh, there's no scratches anywhere back to this seat as you can see absolutely nothing on that let's get in the uh, front and let's start the engine so this vehicle has been very well maintained so you turn the key everything comes on you dip the clutch start the engine all the lights go off so there's no warning lights there at all Obviously just my seat belt uh, light there and the handbrake. 
it's very cold here in the shade so it looks warm outside but up three degrees that does not look like three degrees but it is so that's that um here we've got this head unit it's called the audi symphony so it's slightly upgraded so it's like higher volt wattage for the speakers this one and it's got the uh, mp3 player as well so mp3 cd should we say okay so on here we've got the stop start so it is a stop start on and off there traction control uh you can turn the airbag on and off so if you want a child seat in there you can put a child seat there uh this is the dual uh, zone climate control so you've got your left and your right temperature settings on those dials there uh, and then you can see it's got the aircon button as well uh, heated uh, front and rear screen operation uh, down here is a let's have a look what have we got we've got like a oh it is an ashtray sorry it is an ashtray that is an ashtray because we've got a cigarette lighter there as well six speed manual like we said it's got the levigator uh, the electric hood button there and then we've got the aux input as well so just flip that lid as you can see you've got the little input there for the aux for the music we've got a front center armrest that's actually an additional extra from the factory so they have to pay extra for that so it's got the flip top and the move out of the way uh, armrest then you've also got this drinks holder with the shutter so it's got the roll roll up and down shutter and that's in working condition that's not broken at all so it's all there intact uh, also what else have we got we have got a lockable glove box so that's good so you can keep your valuables in it obviously being a convertible and you do have the roof down and you've got maybe a purse or something you can put that in there so in there you've got a couple of compartments there for your cds etc and then you've got a bigger compartment down here uh, for the rest of the stuff also got a pen there a pen holder and you've got the airbag on and off uh, switch there so while we're here let's look at the service history so this vehicle as you can see it's had two former keepers uh, the chap that's had it uh, has had it for a couple of years so since the um, since the uh, 2020 let me just decline a call and then we've also got all these invoices here so let me try and do this with one hand documented service histories so as you can see this was actually serviced this year January 8th of January 2022 at 12.58 p.m. So this garage here called KAM Servicing, uh, which is in Derbyshire, Hena, Derby, uh, they have got the, um, they had changed the uh, timing chain on this one. So that's what happened. So as you can see, everything's highlighted, renew engine oil, etc. Everything is there. The mileage as well. And the amount, 840. £23 service that one uh, and then that's that then also we've got the uh, what's that one 57,000 miles another service by the same garage that's got everything the aux belts all the belts had been done as well the rubber belts under the bonnet uh, and then we've got uh, another one by the same garage that one was for a tyre etc so this um, this garage has looked after this vehicle has looked after it uh, and then we've got another one here for a service at 38,000 miles and then we've got the MOT which has been done recently <coughs> it's got a uh, advisory which we've said we've done it so that's the drive shaft joint CV boot so that's been changed there's a receipt for that as well <coughs> and then in the book pack so we've got the book pack as well we've got two keys book pack we've got the log book We've got all the documents let's look at the service schedule this one so the service schedule let me just go to the right page okay so it starts here so it was audi audi dealer serviced it 5200 miles uh then another audi dealer stamp there <coughs> 21,000 miles and then another one here at 38,000 miles uh which is the one which is invoiced and then we've got the uh another one there by some company there but no invoice for that one so that one's missing the invoice so the audi dealers is at the audi dealers you can phone them up and they will give you the detail rundown on the services there this is for the kam servicing place uh there and there and the last one there as well 
so the next service is actually due uh, January January the 8th uh, that's the next service so we've got a long time to go uh, right okay so let us go under the bonnet now so I'll just pull the bonnet catch oh let me show you the rear I forgot to show you the rear <coughs> so the rear as you can see very tidy very clean I think the last owner didn't even have children so no one actually sat in the back of this car so it's all very very clean okay if we do the electric roof now so let me just press the electric roof so that one button there so I pull up so there's no clips to undo at all so you just pull up the windows drop ajar and then the roof just goes back like that and that didn't take very long at all what was that about eight seconds wow okay and then like I said about this button here if we just press that there all four windows go down all right so okay then pop the bonnet that's the 1.2 TFSI very tidy under here very clean nothing out of the ordinary at all now the microphone on these mobile phones is very very sensitive so that engine might sound loud to you at the moment but it's not it might sound a little bit tappy as well but it's not it's the microphone it's that good it does i get this all the time with the videos so in fact what i'm going to do i've actually said i'm going to go to this if you listen to this it's going to go to this video here sorry this video it's going to go to this car here which is another audi this is also a petrol this is an 18 reg and it's done 25 25 000 miles you start this engine and i pull the bonnet and you can listen to this engine this has done 25 000 miles and you'll think wait a minute so you'll think the same you'll think is this one tapping so as you can hear that's that one there and then and then i'll just come to this other engine so they're both the same so it's not the uh so it's not the uh it's not the engine at fault it's just the way the camera and the microphone's really good so there you have it i'll show you the uh bike with the roof down there as well all nice and clean if you have a part exchange please let us know uh, with the reg number and mileage and we'll give you a quotation uh, we do do finance as well so uh, if you require finance please let us know as well thank you for watching the uh, video hope to see you soon